Getting started, standalone. In standalone mode, you can launch T-Rex 3 from your application folder and use it without the need of a host application. In this mode, T-Rex 3 performs as a dedicated mastering processing station. You can load multiple files and apply a different double chain of T-Rex processors to each one, as well as fade in, fade out to finalize your productions. You can also change any settings of the processing chain during a song with the included snapshots function. Controls like loop points allows for working on selected parts of your song for fine tuning to the highest level of detail. All of this is available directly working on the audio file waveform that is conveniently displayed in T-Rex with zoom in and zoom out. Once you are done, the process button allows you to export your entire album with one click with the highest audio quality for CD or any other multimedia or online medium. Audio Hardware Settings Window to work with T-Rex 3 in standalone mode, you need to properly adjust its hardware settings that controls what audio interface is used by the software for its stereo audio output. This window can be launched under the audio menu in the menu bar of the standalone. Here, you can select the audio interface and buffer size that will be used in T-Rex 3. Audio Driver T-Rex 3 is compatible with all ASIO or DirectX audio interfaces in Windows and all Core Audio compatible audio interfaces in Mac OS X. Loading and playing files. To load audio files into T-Rex 3 standalone, simply drag them into the interface or load them using the load button. The audio files will appear on the audio files panel in the player editor window interface with their duration listed. By clicking on the file in the audio files panel, its waveform will be displayed on the right. By clicking the play button, the file will start playing, and by enabling the loop button, the specified section will be looped. During file play, a play cursor will be displayed over the waveform with the counter display indicating its position in the file in minutes, seconds, frames, format. The stop button will stop the file play. Both in player stop mode, you can skip to a different play point simply by clicking on the desired position on the waveform. Inserting processors. To start mastering your files, you will need to insert T-Rex processors in the audio chain for the selected file. To do this, simply click on the one of the drop-down menu buttons corresponding to the available T-Rex chain slots. This will display the processor menu where you can choose one of the available processors for that slot by selecting it on the menu. The abbreviation of the inserted processor will appear in the selected slot, and the drop-down menu will display the name of the types of processors inserted in the slot. Now the audio will be played through the T-Rex processor inserted in the chain. To insert more processors, you can simply repeat the operation for any of the slots. Now you can edit every control of the processors to achieve the desired mastering results, while checking your adjustments on the T-Rex metering section. By selecting a different audio file, you can insert a totally different chain unless you have unchecked Link T-Rex Processor to Audio File in the Project Properties window. In this case, the chain you have applied will also be valid for the newly selected audio file and all the others you work on. Within the same audio file, you can apply different T-Rex settings by using the available scene snapshots. Processing your master When you have achieved satisfactory results, you can export your master as an audio file for CD or any other desired music, online or multimedia format, according to the settings specified in the Project Settings window. To do that, click the Process button. An audio process wizard will appear to guide you. First, you will be asked to specify if you want to process a single file or all open ones. If you would like to process the current file only, click on Browse to specify the destination folder and the file name. If you want to process all open files, click Browse to specify a destination folder. Since you're processing multiple files, you won't be able to specify a specific file name. Instead, the original file names will be used, with the addition of the file extension added in the Append to File Name field. A summary of which audio file format is going to be saved is shown in the same window. Clicking Next will start the processing of your files and save them to your hard disk. Your mastered file will be saved in the desired location, ready to be distributed.